got it. Designing your own school and then you get to place things where you want them to be. That looks amazing. And it's a bit like having your ideas made into reality. Today we're in Shacklewell Primary School in Hackney in East London and we've come to allow a small group of years five and six to trial our new design app for designing primary schools. So what are the important things about designing schools? Classrooms, toilets. People need to like move through the school and get to the school. We'd like you to design your own school. We have a list of all the spaces you need in order to create a school. So let's say we've placed one classroom now. The app allows anyone to design a primary school in a matter of minutes as opposed to weeks. Here we go. Sound fun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> We wanted to test the app on children to test how intuitive the design process would be. We need the classroom first and the entrance, there's important stuff. Traditionally, an architect would be employed to try and produce a feasibility study in line with area and adjacency requirements set by the Department for Education. For example, a classroom cannot exist without storage space for the pupils' coats and lunch boxes, also teachers' storage and toilets. This app seeks to pre-embed those area and adjacency requirements in the form of spatial design clusters to ensure that schools can be designed in a compliant way from the outset. Common practice amongst uh, my experience is that when new parts of education infrastructure are being built, uh, it's very often the educators who are the last on the list to be consulted with. What I feel that this app has sort of shown to the children and myself, to be perfectly honest, is that it's very easy, or much more easy than it would have been previously, to get people who are involved in the teaching to make those decisions about spaces and shapes and, and areas for learning and play. And this is the, the joy that you play of all of us. We wanted to make this not only easy to use, but free to use. We're releasing this as open source, as we believe that sharing best practice is the quickest way to change and evolve the industry as a whole. It's really clever. I love, I love the uh, different, how much thought is given to it. Who actually goes to the school? It's mostly children other than the teachers. So then why can't they design it? It's easy to move things around. Like you can just like, you can just do this. It's a bit like your this. I'm amazed at how quickly the children have picked this up. It seems to be very intuitive to them. They've got really engaged with the whole school designing process to see something that we've worked so hard on being so intuitively picked up by a group of children. It's very satisfying. <laughs>